hello guys we are going to study about a small concept of how hormonal variation occurs during menstrual cycle so we are going to draw a chart it, uh, on x axis we will put a duration of uh, pregnant uh, duration of menstrual cycle that is days of menstrual cycle and on uh, y axis we will put concentration of hormones okay on x axis duration of cycle from 28 days to uh, next 28 days okay Zero for twenty-eight to like this up to next cycle twenty-eight days and on y-axis we will put concentration of hormones. So guys, we know that the normal menstrual cycle is under the hormonal control and which are uh, re released from hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis. That is from hypothalamus gonadotropin releasing hormone is secreted after then FSH LH and after then estrogen and progesterone. So four main hormones uh, are uh, important during the menstrual cycle. That is FSH LH. Estrogen and progesterone. So we uh, here we are going to write concentration of hormones on y-axis. So friends, when we draw the uh, chart, three important points need to be remembered. Okay, that is three important dates or three important days are need to be remembered. That is first is day five. So what is importance of day five? I will tell you. Next is day fourteen. So we know the importance of day fourteen. That is LH surge and ovulation. And day twenty five. So, what is importance of day twenty five? I will show you. Okay. So, first is day five. So, there is a sudden decrease in follicle stimulating hormone. So, we know that during first five days there is a rise, uh, there is a constant rise of follicular stimulating hormone. But on day five there is a sudden decrease of FSH. Why this sudden decrease is happening? This is because rise in estrogen, and this rise of estrogen is due to persistent low of luteinizing hormone. So during first five days there is a low LH due to which estrogen rises and due to estrogen rise there is sudden decrease in FSH. On day fourteen there is LH peak occurs due to which ovulation occurs. But prior to the LH peak there is must a uh, another peak that is estrogen peak must to be occur before the LH peak for ovulation to be occurred. Okay, so twenty four to thirty six hours prior the estrogen peaks occur. On day twenty five. We know that in normal infertile cycle, the corpus luteum, which was formed after the ovulation, will get degenerated uh, 10 to 12 days after the ovulation. That is nearly on 24 to 25th day. Okay. So due due to the degeneration of corpus luteum, what occurs? The enzymes or sorry, the hormones which are going to secrete by corpus luteum will get reduced. So what are the hormones? First is estrogen and second is progesterone. Okay. So pregnancy maintaining hormone progesterone, the levels of these hormones will get reduced on day twenty five. Okay, so remember due to the degeneration of corpus luteum, these two hormone levels will get reduced. So now we have to plot these features or these points on the graph. Okay, so day five, day fourteen, and day twenty five. Okay, so first we show. During day one to day five, what occurs? Okay, so here first we draw LH peak. After then, a small estrogen peak prior to the LH peak. We connect the dots. Okay, now day one to day five, there is a rise of FSH, and day five FSH will reduce. I tell, I told you why that occurs. Okay, and now we join this graph. Okay. The FSH will again have a small peak during day fourteen, and after then it will a plateau phase. And on day twenty five, due to degeneration of corpus luteum, what occurs? Estrogen will decrease, and due to estrogen decrease, there is a FSH rise. Okay, so this is LH during day five. Here LH is low, and after uh, estrogen peak, there is a LH peak occurring. Okay, and after that LH peak, LH level will be. Low. Okay, is uh, this is progesterone? Okay, first fourteen days progesterone will be less, and after ovulation, due to formation of corpus luteum, progesterone level will be rise. And on day twenty five, when uh, corpus luteum will degenerate, progesterone will get down. Okay, so this is a graph of now estrogen. Okay, estrogen level will be plateau due due to the uh, release of corpus luteum, but on day twenty five, corpus luteum will degenerate and Further estrogen level will also come down. Okay, so these are the four important graphs 
to be remembered first is fsh during day 1 to day 5 fsh will be high and estrogen will be low but on day 5 due to continuous lh uh, stimulation estrogen will get a peak okay and fsh will come down and this occurs and after uh, day 14 when lh peak is uh, happening okay ovulation will occur here the lh third hormone and fourth is progesterone we know that carpus luteum secretes mainly progesterone and small amount of estrogen and due to which after ovulation progesterone will get a peak okay so four hormones we have to remember here fsh estrogen lh and progesterone and three days that is day 5 day 14 and day 25 carpus luteum get degenerated on day 25 ovulation occurs on day 14 and on day 5 what is occurring that is due to low level of lh okay due to low level of lh there is a rise of estrogen and due to rise of estrogen there is a negatively feedback mechanism happens and low level of fsh will